Girl, a motherfucking trip, hot. Yeah. If you ain't rocking designer, then she ain't letting you hit. Hi, you guys. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below and let me know you're new. And also, I have to lock that. And also, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Facebook. Just follow me. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, just follow me. So, all my information either is going to be in the beginning of the video or the end of the video. But, make sure you follow me. So, this girl talk is about female hygiene, okay? And I think that when it comes to female hygiene... Okay, there we go. I think that when it comes to female hygiene, I'm not um, talking about... It's a lot that goes on with us. Like, you know, but I'm talking about your kitty kitty. Okay? Don't mind my nail. My nail broke. Eh, whatever. So, I'm talking about your kitty kitty, okay? How to keep that thing so freshy, so clean, clean. <laughs> so, let's get into some tips. Tip number one. Please make sure you're properly washing... You're properly wiping and washing yourself. And um, I'm I'm, I'm going to say this because on my channel, I, I try to make sure we're relatable and make sure that we're, we're keeping it real at all times. Because like I say all the time, you know, you are me and I am you. We have the same thing, the same people, believe it or not. That's what it is. So I'm going to tell you a story. When I was working at my job, I don't want to say what job it is, but, um, yeah, when I was working at my job, one of my jobs, um, I used to get, um, urinary tract infections and yeast infections, like, crazy, like, all the time, like, nonstop, and I had a friend, my little snow buddy, if she see this, you know I'm talking about her, alright, so I had a friend who worked with me, my coworker. we ended up being good friends now, um, I used to sit in my chair and I used to, like, at my desk like this because you know it's so irritating like it's like you want to stick your hand up there and go ah so <laughs> yeah so i used to tell her all the time like yo i keep getting urinary tract infections i keep getting yeast infections like i don't know like what is wrong with me and she said to me and it's a, it, i was ashamed then but i'm not ashamed now she said to me she was like are you properly wiping yourself and I was like, huh? Yeah, I know how to bite myself, girl. Like, you know, you be getting offensive. Like, what the f she trying to say? Like, I'm like, yeah, I know how to bite myself. So she stood up and she opened her legs up. Like, she's like, you know. And she was like, are you wiping from the front to the back? Or are you wiping from the back to the front? And I'm like. And at the time, sad to say. I wasn't doing it right. I was wiping from the back to the front. Like, and I was like, and I, I didn't know which way she was saying with the front and the back. Like, you know what I mean? So I was just like, I do like this. Like, oh, my legs. And I was like, I go like this. And she was like, you putting your poo-poo in your boo-boo. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, you mixing your mm and your mm. And I was like, yeah, that explains it. So <laughs> step one is to properly wipe yourself. You wipe from the front to the back. Do not wipe from the front. To, do not wipe from the back to the front. If you wipe from the back to the front, you are taking what's in your booty hole, where your doo-doo come out of, your boo-boo, and you bringing it to your happy place, to your kitty kitty. And that can cause a yeast infection. Everybody know you get a yeast infection or you get a urinary tract infection. It ain't the best smelling thing. Okay? Just keeping the bean. Just keeping it a bean with you, baby. Just keeping it a bean with you. It ain't, it ain't pretty. So that's step one. Step two is some people may tell you you can use soap. I've, I've, I heard this, heard this. All right. Some people may tell you, you can use soap. Some people may say, "Oh, use the non-sensitive down there. Get your rag and you know me." Because this is Miss Brownstone's channel, so you're going to get advice from Miss Brownstone, sissy, okay? And Miss Brownstone don't use soap. I'm sorry. I don't do it. My thing is sensitive, okay? If you blow on it, it's like, ooh, daddy, it's sensitive. So, 
to avoid that, because <laughs> I learned the hard way. My mother used to have peppermint soap, and I used peppermint soap down there. And Lord, I was like, fire, <laughs> baby, burning, baby, burning. So <laughs> ever since then, I said, I'm not using soap. And I started to look into it, and you're not supposed to. You can use water. Like, you just need warm water. You know, try to have two different rags. If not, then, you know, rinse your rag out from the soap that you use to wash your body. Make sure it's clean. And then just have warm water and wipe, you know, clean yourself. You don't need to have soap. At the end of the day, your vagina self-cleans itself. Believe it or not. If you don't believe me, Google it. Boom. Google me, baby. <laughs> but yeah, it self-cleans itself. So you don't need water, all right? So that was step two. And that was, I mean, that was tip two. Tip three, to add on to just use water, some people say you can use wipes. Um, when you go to the bathroom or before you go to your little dicky dicky appointment, and you know, you can pee, and then when you go to get your thing on, it, it's going to smell like pee. Like, you know, like, you may wipe yourself, yeah, but you, you won't smell like pee. <laughs> like, you would be with you. So, some people say use wipes. I don't use wipes. I just told you my thing is sensitive. So, what I do have is a water bottle, and I keep it at room temperature when I go out. And I'm keeping my bag. And I take the water bottle. As I wipe myself, I put the water down there. A little bit, little something, something. And I rinse it and I wipe it and I feel fresh. Like, I don't smell like pee. I'm clean. You know what I mean? Ready to go. So, that's my advice. What was that? Number three? That was number three, right? Yeah. Number three. Okay. And number four, which is one of my main important ones ever. You have to be careful what you put in your body, baby. You have to be careful what you put in your body. Everybody know I love I love Sprite, okay? Like, I'm drinking Sprite 24-7, and it does not cleanse my body at all. And it's like, Lord, like, this ain't helping me. This hurting me. <laughs> that could be one reason why I was always having, you know, that situation I told you in the beginning. But, um, yeah, so I'm not saying drink Sprite. Number four tip is to drink water and cranberry juice. Drink lots and lots of water, okay? What you put in your body helps cleanse your body out. So, if you drink lots and lots of water, you know, you are cleaning yourself out. You know what I'm saying? No yeast infection problems. It keeps you from being stinky, stinky. That's the way I look at it. Cranberry juice, too. That works. Cleans your system. And if you like me and use that... Key. You like to drinky drink, get your little Bacardi. So when you drink, instead of having Sprite or Coke as a chaser, put some cranberry juice in there. It helps, boo. It helps, yeah. And my last tip, which is number five, my luggage, <laughs> which is um number five. You got to let your kitty breathe, okay? You got to let her breathe. So, you have to not be wearing these tight behind pants. If it ain't breathing, actually, no. Before we get to number, before, I'm not going to make that number five. I'll make that number six. Number five is shave. That's what number five is. Shave or wax. Shaving isn't good for you. It takes off the first layer of your skin. But, however, you, if you know you like that, like that. You need to shave, though. Shaving would be number five. I don't know how I forgot that. But, shaving is number five. Because hair keeps it, her hair traps in odor, okay? Hair traps in odor. I don't know about y'all when y'all get y'all period, but we all, y'all gonna say y'all got a damn smell when y'all get your period, but you got motherfucking smell, okay? You got smell. All right, don't lie to me. You ain't got a lot of misses. Y'all be having a little, mm, okay? And when you get your period, that smell and all that, you know, is stuck into your hair. And it it keeps it keeps the odor. It oh, yes, if you don't shave it. It does. And even in the summertime, if you don't have your period and you play volleyball or basketball or you run track or you just work work out, you sweating down there. And that hair is keeping it in. It's like it's keeping it in, like is is you know, so like you have to shave because shaving, you know, removing that hair gets rid of that odor, believe it or not, it does. 
so shave or wax that was number five okay speaking along with period now i'm coming up with steps as i go that's i mean i'm coming up with tips as i go i should have wrote this down next time i'm writing it down but um um number six when you get your period ladies because we all know that the smell okay now i'm not saying that you walking around smelling like fish market but you know you're bleeding on yourself like this is gonna be older like come on now they say sharks smell blood so clearly blood has a smell all right so um change your pad often change your pad often and wash often you know if you're keeping that same pad on all day i shouldn't even have to tell you you already know if you're keeping that same pattern pad on all day you already know what i'm about to say we ain't even gonna we ain't even gonna get to that. Change the change your pad, okay? And then the last step will be on number seven. We're on number seven now. <laughs> the last step was the one I was gonna tell you was your kitty has to breathe, okay? Your kitty has to breathe. Now don't mark my word on this because remember I said I'm keeping it a bean, I'm keeping it a bean. I don't wear drawers. Just let it be known. Me don't wear panties. I don't wear panties. So, um, I can't tell you which panties they say you're supposed to wear so that you can breathe down there. I don't know if they said cotton. I don't know what it is, but if you're watching this, whoever watching this, and y'all know the answer to that, comment the answer below. Like, teach me something. You know, I don't remember what it is, but certain panties you're not supposed to wear. I know that for sure. Like, dongs and all that, that's not good for you. And tight, skinny jeans where your kitty cat can't breathe, that's not good for you either. You know, that comes back to creating sweat with the with the with the hair and all that you guys gonna be smelling too good and that's how you get yeast infections and i just told you if you get a yeast infection your kitty ain't smelling good i already said that so somebody drop that answer below y'all gonna thank me later i don't wear drawers because i like for my thing to be free at last free at last oh god i'm free at that's me. I like to be free, you know. I wear panties when I get my period though. But other than that, I just be doing me, boo boo, doing me, okay? But um, that's it for that. I hope that I helped you guys in some kind of way. Um, everybody has their different tricks and you know tricks and stuff. So you can go watch other people's videos, and if you find out something interesting, then let me know. Oh, and another thing that not that I did not um that I just remembered. Do not dush. Like I just said, nothing goes inside there. Your vagina is self-cleansing. Please do not be dushing. I dushed when I was younger. That's another story, but it was not a good experience, okay? And sometimes it takes away the smell for the moment, but then it comes back 10 times harder. Baby, that thing be, woo, woo, that thing be fighting. I'm telling you, don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. So, um... Yeah, if anybody find out that answer, if I know that answer, if anybody got some ticks, some tricks they want to um, share with us, comment below. Um, once again, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Facebook. Just follow me. Do that. Follow me, sissy. Okay. And I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo.